Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're going to be talking about Planet Lab stock and I want to talk about where I could see the stock headed in the next year and also would like to talk about the company overall in this video and why I think Planet Labs is such a big deal. And just really quick here, if you are new to the channel, The Investing Bureau, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button below if you enjoy content like this covering companies and stocks in disruptive areas. And with that said, let's jump right into things. To begin, I'd like to give what I hope is a helpful overview of Planet Labs and then we'll look at the stock. So number one, Planet Labs is a satellite imaging company with a large constellation of over 200 satellites in orbit, by far the leader in the space. And while imaging is a correct term, the better way of describing the company is that they are a data company in one respect. They've got this system of satellites that allows them to collect huge amounts of data, which is extremely valuable to parties interested in any applications from this. And I'm sure the obvious defense and intelligence jumps to mind at one of the biggest applications, but also agriculture, drought response, government use, education and research, sustainability, maritime, mapping, finance, and many other industries also would benefit from this data. So if an organization is interested in this, Planet Labs can make money and can offer them their services by selling a subscription-based plan that gives the organization the ability to access their network and get the data they need. And so that being a core subscription with access to the general imaging, they've got other features like access to their higher resolution satellites for specific tasking or access to base maps, analytics, or user-friendly APIs. But the key thing is that they aren't just talk. This is an established company that has a lot of demand. They've got 34,000 users, 700 customers with 200 partners and across 65 countries. And with over 200 satellites in orbit, they have a very strong foundation to generate consistently growing revenue without having to pay a cost per product. Now, as far as actual revenues, they are growing, I would say, at a respectable rate. They have been around since 2010 and are now doing or expected to do around $130 million in revenue full year 2021, as recently reiterated in their Q3 earnings report. Their growth rate isn't massive because of the way their business is focused with an organization subscription-based model, but the advantage with this is that they have a lot of stability and they also predict growth to accelerate, going up to 44% predicted compound annual growth rate through 2026. And on the bottom line, they are close to profitability with 27 million in net profits expected full year 2021, which is a gross margin of 24%. But they expect this margin to grow rapidly over the coming years, up to 40% in 2022 and all the way to 74% in 2026. And the reasoning here makes a lot of sense because they have this relatively flat fixed cost and as customers continue to grow, that margin would continue to increase. Now, right now, the stock is trading at around six and a quarter dollars a share, valuing the company at a one point six billion dollar market cap. It's down just shy of 40 percent from its SPAC deal price of ten dollars a share. And in a year where we saw so many ridiculous valuations, Planet Labs, I think, was valued fairly at around a two and a half billion dollar valuation. But its stock is down because of the continued pressure in selling within growth stocks particularly emphasized on de-SPAC companies, which have been sold off ubiquitously. Right now, there are likely quite a few quality de-SPAC companies, which will be worth far more two years from now. And right now is the opportunity to distinguish good from bad. And I do believe that Planet Labs is one of those companies. And I will say I am not a financial advisor, so this is not financial advice. But fundamentally, they are in a growing industry in the field of data information and continually improving imaging technology, which is led by cheaper and cheaper prices to send satellites to orbit. And as we look to gain more and more precision over things like the environment, transportation, national security, natural disasters, and more, satellite imaging technology will continue to grow in demand. So that part is a green check. And then company-wise, they have proven themselves with many hundreds of customers and continuing to gain large customers. And as their reputation spreads, their revenues will continue to expand accordingly. So moving forwards with improved market conditions, I could see Planet Labs being worth four to five billion dollars right now, which would be 16 to 20 bucks a share. And of course, 10 plus years from now, who knows? Right now, market conditions are horrible, but if there's one thing that's obvious throughout history is when you look at a stock and go back on the chart to when Amazon or one company I actually think of here is Neo. And what I'm saying is that when you go back and look and see the stock was trading at $1, $1.50 per share, which Neo was not too long ago, you probably say, geez, I really wish I'd bought there. But the psychological trap is that when the stock was at those prices, sentiment was absolutely horrible. Everyone was saying to sell it, every day the stock was going down, and things looked bleak. 
So no, I'm not saying Planet Labs is going to 20x all of a sudden or anything like Neo did, but I do think this power of perspective is important. You have to look beyond the stock and beyond current market conditions and value everything overall. And that is probably one of the hardest things for any investor to do. So hopefully some of that was helpful and I will wrap things up with that being said. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you next time.